can animals be used for the development of science? Each year, all around the world, hundreds of millions of animals are dead in laboratories. Every year in Europe, 11.5 million animals are used for scientific testing, even though it was banned in the Europe in 2013. Mice, rats, hamsters, rabbits, dogs, cats, pigs, sheep, and more are all used in experiments. Animal experiments are widely used for the development of medicines and to test the safety of other products. Many of these experiments cause pain to the animals, involve or reduce the quality of their life. If it is morally wrong to cause animals to suffer, then experimenting on them could cause serious moral problems. People use animals for xenotransplantations, which involves moving organs or tissues from one species to another. Toxicology is conducted by pharmaceutical companies. These companies want to know if their product is safe for humans or not. Is it right to use animals even when their pain is minimalized? Cosmetics are also tested on animals, especially on rabbits. These tests cause general toxicity, eyes and skin irritancy, and phototoxicity, which involves triggering ultraviolet light. We've all been thinking how these companies treat these animals and we have but that's going to do nothing and I mean literally nothing because it involves no action. Almost all drugs must be tested on animals before they can go on sale. According to Cruelty Free International, over 500,000 animals may be used in cosmetic testing worldwide every single year even the alternative options exist that would even though alternative options exist that won't get animals or consumers to suffer non animal tests are often more effective more reliable and more faster proving that animal testing is unnecessarily evil most universities use animals to educate their students by dissecting animals did you know each year more than 100 million animals, including mice, rats, frogs, dogs, cats, rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, monkeys, fish, and birds are killed in US laboratories for biology lessons, medical training, curiosity driven experimentation, and chemical drug, food, and cosmetic testing? Animals are used for military research. Russians have done some terrible experiments on dogs including the two-headed dog and the cut-headed dog. Animals being abused by scientists. The ways in which animals are being tested include making them live inside a locked closet without any control over the aspect of their lives. Burnt, shocked, poisoned, isolated, starved, dropped, addicted to drugs and brain damaged. Because of this, more than 100 million animals are dead in only a year. That means in almost every 0.3 seconds, an animal is dead. So just think about how every millisecond an animal is being tortured. I am 10 years old and at this age, if it boils my blood, why isn't yours? And most people, they are a blind eye to this problem that could affect more than just animals, but us and the environment. Animals need other animals to survive, like humans and trees. Yes, animals do need other animals to survive. I'm sure all of you have heard of the food chain. If the food chain breaks, so do we. Obviously, scientists aren't the only one doing this sort of thing. We are too. We apply cosmetics all over our body. Join us on this journey as we encourage more countries to ban cosmetic testing. Look out for the Leaping Bunny logo. The Leaping Bunny logo can only be displayed on brands that don't test on animals. Thanks to a few people, we have some solutions. Organizations like WSD, PETA, Puppies Behind the Bars, Last Chance for Animals, and BSPCA have helped a lot so far, saving thousands of animals per month. We should all do it and not think it. After all, it doesn't cost money. There are many ways to do it and probably the easiest way 
is to make other people aware. Start with your family and friends. Encourage them. Other ways is to contact companies or to report them. Animals are not asked to eat, wear, experiment or to abuse in any way. We say we want to make the world better for all. But all we do is trap animals in a hole. We dig into their fur. But all we find is blow. Then it's obviously pointless and joyless. We think it's bad, then we just get sad. Most people seem to care, but they turn a blind eye to the plight of animals in despair. Experimented, tested, tortured, and captured. Surely, they think of us as mean and absurd. Scientists crush their bones, while us humans fiddle on our bones. Some animals suffer electrocution. But surely, there is a solution that can be a fixed resolution if we fight with determination and start to use our imagination. We stand against animal cruelty. Do you?